Hello, Scrappy Circuits fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. The final magic keystroke that I want to talk about and that you need to be aware of is a keystroke that will allow for something called target disk mode. In order to enter target disk mode, and this is from the subject machine, we will hold down the T key and we will keep holding it down while we press and release the power button. Continue holding down the T key and you will, in a very short amount of time, see one of these two logos on your screen. One is a Thunderbolt looking logo and the other is a USB looking logo. Target disk mode is a mode that allows us to perform acquisition of this machine by using another Apple computer, our maybe our analyst computer, and we connect the two computers together and we control the acquisition from our analyst machine while it's connected to the subject machine. There are a couple of reasons why we might want to do this. The first reason is, what if the screen is smashed on the subject computer? Then we can't see what's going on. Well, if we enter target disk mode, we don't need to see what's going on because all of the acquisition process is happening from our analyst computer. In the case of a T2 security chip, uh, you are going to need the password. Um, if it wasn't for the T2 security chip, you wouldn't need a password. You could bypass the password using target disk mode. But remember that in target disk mode, even though we can bypass the password, the computer must not have File Vault enabled. If File Vault is not enabled, I've even heard that even with a T2 security chip, you can bypass the password as long as, as File Vault is not enabled. I've not tested that myself. That's a, a fairly new reveal to me. I'm going to be testing that and I'll let you know in future episodes how that worked out for me. Understand with target disk mode, you are only going to see the primary drive in the machine. If there's more than one drive in that machine, you won't see it. If it has fusion drive, in other words, a spinning and a solid state, you are only going to see the primary drive. So when you acquire it, it's going to be mostly useless to you. So you have to understand these little vagaries when it comes to target disk mode but it is a very efficient, great way to do acquisitions when it works. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.